I am disgusted with the things that happened in Minneapolis. The man was murdered. Murder. George Floyd being murdered. Guilty of murder, because that's what that was. I am disgusted with the things that happened in Minneapolis. Pure, plain, blank, things could have went way different. At the end of the day, let's talk facts. Guy is on the ground, he's laying on his stomach, he have handcuffs on. It's four of y'all, one of him. Four of y'all, one of him. Who has control of the situation? As an officer, you are a first responder, right? So if in the midst of you trying to gain compliance, someone is hurt, you have to render aid. So somebody's saying, I can't breathe, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. You don't think to yourself and say, oh my gosh, this guy can't breathe, he might die. If I see wrong happening, wrong is not happening in my presence, right? I'm going to check it. And that's period. The man was murdered. Nowhere in mechanics of arrest are we ever taught to put our knees onto somebody's neck slash throat area, especially for that long. And the three officers standing around watching that happen, y'all are at fault too. Y'all could have told the man, get off him, he can't breathe. I mean, you're hearing him say it. It should have never gone that way. Rest in peace, George Floyd, for real. I've seen the video of George Floyd's murder, I believe it was, murder by a police officer, and I'm not okay with that. I am not okay with somebody in my profession doing something like that to another movie. The man goes unconscious, and they don't even provide CPR or aid to him. They continue to kneel on him. That is not okay. And if you, as a police officer, can watch that video and not think something's wrong, you are part of this problem. You don't admit when somebody did something wrong. George Floyd's family, I'm sorry, this was not okay. So I got a chance to watch this video of George Floyd being murdered on the streets of Minnesota. Yeah, murdered. And we have an obligation as good officers to speak out against the bad. We have an obligation and we owe it to the public and to the other officers in this country that are out here actually trying to do good, actually trying to protect and serve with honor. And if you stay quiet and don't speak out against it because you're fear of judgment, you're complicit in the behavior, the disgusting behavior. It's time that we take these bad officers and speak out against them and start holding them accountable and hold them to the same laws that we we expect citizens to abide by. They're not above it, and it's time that good officers start speaking out and stopping it. To the Floyd family, I am truly sorry for your loss, and that should have never happened, and I hope those people are found to be guilty of murder because that's what that was. And we got to change this. We got to break these barriers and these walls, and we got to do what we can as police officers. So five years ago, I did a traffic stop where a young man thought I was going to hurt or kill his dad because of the color of his skin, and that broke my heart. And from that moment on, I decided to change the way I do policing. I let them see who I am underneath this vest and who I am underneath this badge so the innocent people don't have to fear me anymore because that's not what we signed up for. So I challenged the other law enforcement officers. Get out of your car and get to know...